What's up guys, Holden here, HMOD Fitness. So today we're going to go after the TFL, um, Glute Medius, Glute Minimus, Maximus, and try and get all those hip rotators, okay? So basically, uh, with the TFL, what we're going to do with that is, um, that connects to the IT band. So any IT band pain we have um, can be attributed to the TFL, okay? And be because the TFL starts at your greater trochanter, Okay, right above it actually, and then it slowly, you know, turns into the IT band that goes and attaches to your knee. Okay, so in the IT band pain, lateral knee pain, a lot of that can be contributed to a tight TFL and those tight hips. So we're trying to clean up that whole system of the the hips, um, excuse me, of the glutes, uh, TFL, uh, external rotators. Okay, and then for the external rotators. If those things are junky, tacked down, they're not going to be able to, you're not going to be able to externally rotate your knees out, okay? And that's what we want in good squat and stuff is to drive the knees out. So if we have pro improper function there, okay, then we're not going to be able to drive those knees out and create that stable hip, knee, back, etc. Okay? So this is what we're going to do. You can take a softer ball or a softball, okay? And basically, you're gonna go right above that greater trochanter, okay? And you are going to just camp out here. Um, should be pretty tender for most people. This is a spot not a lot of people can get after. And the T, uh, the IT band, you can't stretch it. So no more stretching it because it's such a thick band that um, there's really no way you can change it. And the only way it changes is just at its insertion to give it some slack, okay? So we're gonna camp out here, okay, find a spot. All right. And then after that, we're gonna go after the ro hip rotators. So we're gonna go right, kind of where your glute max is, and you can cross your leg over on the other, and we're just gonna you're just gonna find the spot and sink into it. I did some legs yesterday, so <laughs> it's pretty sensitive here. But basically, if you can get down into your butt area. We can give some slack by driving those knees out. Okay, so um, we really need to attack our hips and really think about having those tissues and muscles, fascia, nice and supple. Um, so we have the ability to drive our knees out. And if we give slag to this area in the hips, we're gonna see um, de de decreases in um, knee pain, back pain, because all that fascia, all the muscles that attach to each um, place are usually dictated a lot by the hips, okay? If you just look at all the insertions and biomechanically, if we can loosen up those areas in the hips, you're, we're really giving slack throughout the whole body. Okay, so hips are really important. So we got the TFL with a ball, okay? We're gonna go off your hip rotators, all right? So there you go, guys. Um, spend about five minutes per side. So five on each TFL and then the hip rotators. Um, you just wanna spend a lot of time on this. All right, see you guys.